Hi guys, welcome back to Vintology by Lola. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, I finally finished this book, my tribute to love and marriage, and it's from 1945, and it is a file folder folio. And as I was doing this, you guys, I made up a story, and it is about Adeline and her husband, Frank. And so I'm gonna kind of tell the story as I undo my little album here. So. Um, I'll tell you what I did, and then we'll kind of tell you the story as we go along. So I will try to make it brief, as brief as I possibly can, because we know I talk a lot. So here is my folio. This is what it looks like, okay, front and back, and I will go through page by page. I just put my usual, I love my steam binding, so I use my seam binding again. I know it's like, Laura, you got to stretch it and get out of there, but I love it. Love the seam binding. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the fav my most favorite junk journal I made. This has tons of Timmy in it, and I was trying to find a way to use some of the some of my I call it adopt a family. I think that's what he should call it is adopt a family because um, that's what those pictures are like. If you don't have any old pictures, you get to adopt these people and call them your own. So this I kind of figured would be something that someone could give someone for an anniversary, and you wouldn't necessarily have to fill it. But if you wanted to, you could put add your own pictures and then have people guess which are you and which are Frank and Adeline. So this is Frank and Adeline. I first made a paper clip that says um, moments and then it has one of Tim's little teeny tiny charms with them when they were dating. So then that's them up there dating, little picture. I did a flower, I did some cheesecloth, some vintage lace. I did a little tab that says moments that is from um, My Porch Prince. I used the lavender line of My Porch Prince as the base for this, and that is absolutely gorgeous. You'll see that throughout. And um, I'm just gonna say that that worked perfect to do a little bit of pink, a little green, a little purple. It made everything kind of mesh together. So I love her stuff anyway. Um, and here is the vine from Hobby Lobby. And here is just on a spool, I had some, um, green and white check that just kind of went with it. This is super old. It's kind of rusty on the back. It's a button and another little vintagey button. Then I put some, I'm just kind of going back and forth. And then here is just some eyelet. Okay. This side says, um, 1945, cause that's the year that they officially started dating and everything. Little flower, little lace, more vintage lace here. So I love all this. And then I did a second layer. So when you open it, we'll start on this side. Here is um, just a piece of tape measure. This is part of the paper line for the Lavender Collection. They went to a concert in the evening, and so she saved. This was just information from the little project, and this was a flower, and I wanted it to be like, pretend that it's a pressed flower. It's not a pressed flower, but a flower that she had gotten from him for their first date. And here's just a tag where you can write some information, and I just put some old seam binding on there. And it's really old, it's weathered and everything. And that wasn't one I had, I just, it came off of something and so I used it. So then when you move, and we'll flip this back, then you move over here, we have this side and this is another little vintagey picture that they took in a little, now these are all different people, but I'm imagining that you can tell the story that it's them throughout their romance because Let's not lie. Um, they have friends they took pictures with. And so these are important people that are also couples in their life. Here's a Tim Holtz milk tag. Here is something that um, I think Lori on the Ridge does these. I love these. The little piece of paper that's um, coffee dyed. And then it just flips out and you can write a little story. And the mini envelopes and a little rhinestone bling. One of Timmy's old, old stickers. Okay, but then when you go into the centerpiece, this is like when they met. So this is when they first met. So I thought the clock was perfect. I ripped out a page that said sweet at the top and cherish because I thought that is kind of what love is. It's sweet and you cherish it. So put those two together. And then I put um, a just a vintage um, applique underneath. This is from My Porch Prince as well. This is her clock collection. And I put one of the Timmy Holtz spinners on it. This is part of Timmy's new, um, oh, his ticket collection. So if you buy the book, it's got all these tear out tickets and they are so great. So they took the bus and they went to the Ritz 
and they started going to the Victorian and the Thornton, but um, they spent the day together, so they went to three movies, and so she saved them all. She saved the tickets, and this was the bus, the bus that they went on. Now, they had friends that introduced them, and that was um, that was Megan and Tony. And Megan and Tony are here, and she they thought it was really important to thank them, so they put a picture in there. And then together is the best place to be. And then I put another little lace down here, and another little applique here that I got from Donna's Donna Little's shop. Just she's got great stuff too, and loved that. Took some of Timmy's stickers. Now these are old ones from his sticker book, and I just backed them with the wallpaper that he had, and I did bingo cards because these two met when they were playing bingo and so they thought that that would be really cute as a as a nod to them to save the bingo cards and then this was a uh paper clip that i got the inspiration from from crafty pantaloons so i put that together and thought that was cute that was forever and then underneath here because it is a tuck spot i took another piece out of a dictionary that says love sick and i thought that was cute because they are just always on top of each other they are just pda all the time um, and so that was perfect. And then I made my own tape, which I saw online from someone else. Not my idea. Loved it. Did it. Used the alcohol inks and it worked perfect. So that was that. So that is that page. Okay. So we have all that. So it's 1945. Oh, and I'm sorry. I didn't tell you on the outside of this. These are actually part of Timmy's other numbers. And I just over their sticker numbers. And so I overlapped them to come up with 1945. This was another tag from um, my porch prints. And then these were little cut up, cut aparts from the kit too. And I just put those on there, turned it into a little tuck spot, put a little flower and a little lace. Okay, so that's how that goes. So then when you open it up, come down here. And this is a flip. And what I did here was on the back of the tabs, I put the flowers that come by the yard. I put those on put a little lace vintage lace over here and this is one of those old metal rim tags distressed it up and um hobby hobby lobby were having these on clearance oh gosh six or eight months ago and they were supposed to be for packages so i had taken it distressed it and then put one of timmy's little words that he has all those that book that's got all the little chit chat and i put little things on there and it, it's a tuck space and this is a card from the collection from the lavender collection and I actually backed it so that you can write on the back and then I took an old uh, library card that's an actual library card with it from Harvey Weiss <laughs> collage and construction and I took Timmy's uh, stickers that are supposed to be a tape measure and put that together as a tab and then I used one of Timmy's heart paper clips and I put that in there see it is a lot of Timmy I told you then I put a bunch of lace up here and then I did a little envelope over here a glassine envelope and I took Timmy's little words that he has um can't remember what those are called but they're usually thick and I peeled all the cardboard off distressed it and put that on put this glassine envelope on it and what I did was I stamped it with just a very light corduroy so that it looks like it's been printed on and inside it's just got a little fold apart that you could write information so it says good and true traveling companion just a memory flip it over miscellaneous a very wonderful place and airmail and so I thought that would be really cute for them to tell some of their stories maybe to their grandkids they could write something fun there or put a picture so then when we pull so this as I said was a pull down so we're going to pull this down and I'll pull this Okay, so here we have this. Guys, I just am so thrilled with the way this thing turned out. So um, let me know what you think, if you love it as much as I do, or am I in love with it? Because I've been married almost 33 years, and I am the biggest advocate for marriage. I have a fabulous husband, and I just am all about finding the right person and being treated like a queen and stuff. So for me, this was just like, oh, I feel like I nailed it. Okay, so... This is another set of friends of theirs. So Adeline and um, Adeline and Frank have another set of friends. And these friends I really hadn't come up with a name for, but I'm kind of thinking it should be Ginger and Johnny because they are so goofy. And they are only 18, so they're always doing goofy stuff. So you can see I printed this picture out online. It was just a picture, a black and white picture, and I just it didn't have any copyright or anything, and so I put it on there. 
and then here it just says a dream come true. They are both only 18 in this picture. So that's why I took one of the little uh, Tim Holtz game markers and put 18. And then I had gotten these um, cards. I had ordered them from an auction. I had won them on an auction. And one side was, I want to say it was Italian or something. But I didn't want that. I wanted the meanings. And so this one was said to lean and support, to help, to prop, which is kind of what he's doing here. And then I used more of the vintage wallpaper from Tim and put that on the back. And I thought that was so perfect for what they were doing for the picture. So I did that. And then you have this flip out that is a Tim Holtz journaling card from years ago. Enjoy the journey. And then I did a homemade yo-yo and put that on with some lace. And then when you open it, I stamped out this. This is a stamp that I got. And it just is a looks like a little notepad. And then I put love this and I did some more of the vintage tape. And then they could write what it was or what was going on. Inside here, I made these little pockets and embellished them, their fabric sewn and everything, and you just unvelcro them. I put some lace and a button, and put that in there. And then in here I just put little, almost like pull apart cards that came with this, and I put lines on the back, again, so you could write something. And because they love to be outside and everything, I thought the flowers were perfect for Adelaide and Frank. Let me close that back up. Now if we come down here, this was stuff that Adeline was collecting for before she got married. She knew that she wanted this specific kind of silverware. So she saved the ad from a magazine and put it in her book. So that's what this is, an ad for the china that she wants when she gets married. Put some lace over here, and I put this so that it was a tuck spot. I was gifted these, um, I believe, from Lori. Um, hi, Lori, if you're watching this, um, from Michigan. And she had made these and they're just gorgeous. And so I thought this was perfect for the kind of the wedding page. And then I put this in here um, so that you could just lines to write down some notes for your wedding ideas. And then I have a paper clip that's an old Tim ones that has the number two. And I stuck that in here. And then when you go over here, they wanted to get married at the Crystal Beach Park, okay? And even though it's an amusement park, they thought it would be a lot of fun for their friends. So they had gone to check it out and she just saved the tickets. Those are actually tickets from Tim Holtz. And I backed them and then just stapled them on. Then here is the year they wanted to get married, which was um, 1947. This was the key for their first house. And so she saved the key to the first house. She used some of the trim that she wanted that she was looking at for her wedding dress. And it is all about love. So I put a little little tag here that says love. And it's got a pink bow because she loves pink. But she wasn't sure she was going to use pink in her wedding. And so those were some of the things she liked. And then you flip this open. And um, I just put romance and forever. And those are Tim Holtz stickers. And um, this was... I saved, she saved this piece because this is what their first couch looked like, was this brown and white um, wool. So that was her first couch. And so she just saved that and she stitched hard on there. Their address was 402 for their first apartment. And then I put lace and some stuff down here. And then down here was another tag so that um, they could journal some stuff if they wanted to tell about plans that they had for their wedding, okay? And the silverware was really cheap. It was only going to be 23 cents per piece of silverware. That's why I did the math. So close that back up. So you listen, I'm just kind of making up this story as I go along and stuff, but it is so cute. So then, okay. So this is an older picture and this is Adeline's parents and her parents were very supportive of her getting married. So she wanted to put a picture of them in her book. So here's her parents, and her mom was very artsy, craftsy. So we, I found the word artful in the dictionary and put that behind there. And she had just taken some little pieces of cheesecloth and some tulle and um, just put in my heart. Her parents will always be in her heart, even though her, her dad has passed away. But that was an old picture of her dad. Then... She loves her grandparents, but her grandparents could not make it for the wedding because they were old. So instead, she did a little tribute to them with this little paper clip. And this was part of her mother, her grandmother's, um, 
grandmother's wedding dress and red was her grandma's favorite color and this was a picture of them when they got married so that was really old so she did that and put it on a clip and then this was some lace that she just happened to like so that was that now um that is the story of her family a little bit now she gets into the part where she actually is married and she said she saved her wedding card. Now what I did was I went online and I looked up vintage 1940 wedding cards, printed it out, turned it into my own vellum. So this is the my own vellum, distressed it, put a doily behind it, tried to make it look old, and then put a um, Project Life card inside that I thought was perfect. It says 1935 and she just always kept this for her wedding. Adeline always thought that the most important things in life are not things at all. That's something her parents taught her. And she loved that quote. And someone remembered that when they gave it her, her wedding card. And down here, it's another one that says, always take the scenic route, because that's kind of what her parents, her artful mom and her supportive dad would say is, you know, always be creative. Always try to go out and do something like different. So that's what she did. So she didn't do anything traditional. She actually got her first job. So when um, Frank and Adeline Zimbrowski um, bought their house, they lived at 24... 2748 Clearwater Street, St. Paul, Minnesota. Here's her social security number and her signature. And this was in June of 2045. So this is her first time card. So she asked if she could have an extra one for her scrapbook to put it in. So she put it in her scrapbook to keep it. So that was when she first got a job. And she worked at a printing company. So it was very cool. This here is just says moments and it was a banner year. So I did a little banner. And it says, remember this, she'll always remember it. And this was a flower that someone had put on a card. And remember when you used to make the, she thought it was better than when she had her shower and everyone saved all the flowers and put it on a paper plate and made a bouquet. She decided to just save one and that's the one she saved. And then on this side, we saw this. She loves this quote. And this is why she has family and friends in her book is because her quote says, May the friends of our youth be the companions of our old age. And that's what she hopes, is that all the people who are at her wedding will continue to be her friends. And so she put that quote there. This is a little bit of fabric from an old dress she liked. And this is just some vintage lace that she wanted to keep. And so she just ripped apart things. Because in the 40s, we didn't throw anything away, right? And this one, well... This one they took of Adeline and Frank when she didn't know it. Someone had taken this picture and used to be able to buy them on the street. Well, they were actually visiting someone in New York and someone took this picture and asked them if they wanted it and it was a quarter to buy the picture. So she bought it and she loved it and so she framed it and it was just a little picture but she wanted it in her little photo book. So here is her little yo-yo um, that she actually makes and it's just some pearls that she thought was cute and she says this is my sweetheart and so she put a little frame around that and that has a little fabric behind it and so do you see my story it's kind of like me telling the story of her doing a vintage book so anyway so this is a great pocket that I learned how to do online from oh I can't remember her name but it's a pocket page and it's so cute I did it with music paper, put some pink, um, just dangly stuff, distressed it, a little flower. I had printed out the word vintage on here because it's vintagey. And then I made just two cards to journal and stuff on. So Adeline could tell stories on it. She could keep memories on it. She could put newspaper clippings, whatever she wants on it. So there's that. And we go to the back. I know this is the big book, you guys, so it had a lot. So then, this is the back part of the book, and this was just some stuff that she wanted to keep, but she wasn't sure how to incorporate it in her book. So this is what she did. She did a flip out, and she loved this quote, and this came off one of her cards, and so she didn't want to keep the whole card, so she just clipped off part of it that said, Life is the Flower for Which Love is the Honey by Victor Hugo, and that was it's actually a Project Life card that I cut apart. And then she put like a corner piece on it to really give it attention. And then one of the doilies that was used at her wedding, she folded it and put it under. This is an applique that she liked from one of um, the dresses she had looked at. And actually what had happened is her friend ended up 
getting married and they bought the dress and years later gave her a piece of it so she kept it but she thought it was really really important so she went and made a copy of her marriage certificate so I went online and just looked around for free marriage certificates and that's what this is I printed it on old typing paper and then I distressed it with Tim Holtz vintage ink and cut it out and this is how it comes out so it is it actually feels and looks like an old um, marriage certificate and so this is Adeline and Frank's marriage certificate it's not the original she did have a copy made and then because she works at a print shop she thought that that would be really important so she stuck it in here in the hopes that maybe her kids if they're looking for something they can they can have it now this is the other half, which is their other friends. Um, this is Junie and Jacob, and they are together, and they are just having a blast, and they met each other when they were in Kansas, but this was one of her girlfriends in Minnesota, so her friend had given her this picture because they had a strip film strip of them. It's really Tim Holtz. And she thought that was great. They were getting married in October, so she said, you know what? These were couple friends of ours, and because I want to remember all my couple friends, I'm going to put her in my book too. And these were tickets when they went to the Arboretum in Minnesota. And so we stuck those in there. And she said that um, the um, 67 was her friend's favorite number, so she had to put that on there. And then I have a doily and some old vintage um oh, it's kind of a piece of a doily that I cut apart. And then Tim Holt's little piece that says Cherish, and it was green. And then the date, and then she didn't fill in the date over here. But So they were getting married. When you flip this open, um, Adeline and Frank loved that picture so much. She said, I really want another picture of us together. And she said, I just like a smaller version that I could carry in my wallet. So that's what this was. This was something she could carry in her wallet. And she finally just took it out of her wallet, put the words. They were perfectly happy with a little bit of tatting and a rose and a bow. And then these are this is one of Tim Holtz um, um, tickets that they don't make anymore. And um, that was what their marriage was based on, love and trust. And so she loved that. And then this is just a little uh, pin with some seam binding. And on this little teeny tiny charm, it says you and me, and then it's got a heart. And she just, this is her favorite all-time picture of the two of them. And she just thought that was so important to have it in her book more than once. Then this is a pocket. And she loved to crochet, so she made crochet hearts. And hearts were her favorite thing. So hearts have all things. That's what she believes. These are more tickets from the Arboretum because they love to go there and see the flowers and everything. This is just a little thing that she saved off of a, off of a card. It just says card post uh, from one of her friends in another country. And this key that was important because it was um, a key to a safety box that has all of her jewelry and stuff in it that she no longer used, but they, um, the bank didn't have it anymore, so they gave her the key, so she kept it. And that was something that was really important to her because for a while they didn't live in a neighborhood that she could have all her jewelry in the house. And so they kept it in a safety box because they thought that it was more important to keep her, her stuff from her family that was important in this box. So, um, and then we did um, just some little tags up here for journaling and for fun stuff. This is photographs, so this is all back here. She can put photos in there if she wants. And then I did another one of the pockets, this time with the dictionary page. This was a, a ticket for a train ride that she had gone on to, with some girlfriends. And then this was just one that just said connect, and that was just something fun. So that is my story. <laughs> so you guys, um, I don't know if any of it makes sense or not to anybody or anything. Um, but I just thought it was really fun to do something a little bit um, out of the ordinary than to just do a book and, um, you know, try to uh, make up a story that went along with the adopt a family and to have fun with it. And that is exactly what I did. And I'm not going to lie, you guys. Um, every time I tell the story, 
it's a different story. <laughs> it's still Adeline and Frank, but every time I tell the story, I come up with something different. The key means something different, or a card means something different, or whatever. But anyway, um, that is my book. I love it. Let me know what you think of it, and I hope everyone is staying well and healthy. I am absolutely thrilled, Minnesota. We are under. We are out of house arrest. Um, next week, my church, the Catholic Church, is going to start opening again. I am so excited, you guys, that things are starting to open up and life is getting back a little bit to normal. I even got to Hobby Lobby. And that felt like, wow, that was a trip. So, um, in more than one way. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying getting back to your routine and that your state is um, moving along. And I will hope that uh, you'll come back and visit me. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Remember, we're trying to get to 1,000. And as soon as I hit 975, I will give the information for my challenge and for my giveaway. So I'm so excited, you guys. So spread the word and take care. Thanks again. Peace out.